Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to the Belligerent Brazil campaign in Victoria 2, where we last left off. This crisis um, seems to have occurred, and I am currently right now judging whether or not to join in, in this war. Now, though this side, the Austrian side, seems heavily skewed towards victory, Austria has like Russia and France both backing it and North Germany has um, you know the UK and Belgium also backing it but they also have like they're also supporting the Ottoman side and you know Greece though we love Greece Greece doesn't have much of a standing army like they only have two brigades and four boats and the Ottoman Empire has 54 boats and 30 brigades and this is the issue which I am sensing right now. Russia borders both the North German Federation and the Ottoman Empire. And in, like so does Austria. And they could easily pour in through the Ottomans and take what they want. Same thing with like the North Germans could easily just crush Russian military because let's see, they're military tech 13 Jesus compared to the Russian military tech of nine. And really, we only can compare it to, I guess you could say Great Britain, their like military tech eight. But even then, like, that's still heavily skewed. But I considered it, and for like the sake of family entertainment, we are actually going to join this war and see, just see if we can gain Ah, uh, this is such a, this is such a inky do. Uh, I would love to join this war, but at the same time, I don't want to do anything to raise my infamy levels too high, because I do want to see if I could try to annex Sokoto. Let's see. I'm gonna stay on the fence. We're just gonna keep on the fence. If this crisis seems like it's gonna happen, I'll, I'll do it like a second consideration towards it. But until then, we're just gonna have to wait. Like Germany, uh, France, I know France got the pop and numbers, but Germany has 67 mark. Okay, so this will be finished in May next year all right all right all right all right uh i would love to have this go down but i'm just not liking the odds with france we're just gonna sit back from these great wars for right now even though i would love to jump in on it it's just the logistical issues with us like transporting troops over there and all that yeah and then the crisis fizzled out anyway yeah it's just like we didn't have that many transports and us gathering those units together it would have taken too long to get up at least a sizable force for that conflict Yeah, I saw in Africa. Looks like we're losing a little bit of money, probably because the price of something dropped. Or, oh, we probably just made the purchase. Never mind, I forgot. Alright, so now we can make steam transports. And that's what I'm actually going to do now. Get nine steam transports up, and let's actually. I'm gonna separate these guys off because just in case uh, another war breaks out, I want to quickly be able to handle the situation and just get rid of them if we don't need them. All right, Argentina is now friendly. All right. Elections going on. Still wouldn't be willing for my lives. Yeah, let's keep up in our relations with you. 
Argentina, you're almost good to go. Yep. So the next thing I'm going to focus on are some of these military techs, such as strategic mobility, like breech loader rifles will be next, and then like military plans. And I'll probably save some points so we could get the drop on machine guns. And with that, we could begin like colonization. Uh, we can colonize some of this territory that's next to us right here. In this little spot. So that's something. Start expanding a little bit. Not too much, just a little. A little training, and that's done. Let's see. Oh, that's Easter Island. All right, Argentina is almost good within our sphere. Keep increasingly with Colombia. Go for protectionism again. Keep relations up with you. Also, increase relations with you, even though you're a satellite. Uh, right, only just short way from getting reform support. Scan building this battleship fleet, or I said battleship fleet. These uh, transports, these steamer transports. Now we're not looking so shabby on the world stage. Interventionism. Alright, you're back up here. And let's go for reach loaded rifles. We can also increase our naval base size. So let's start doing that. Once we get like certain on our how the colonial race is going to turn out that's when I'll like go back to focusing heavily on industry and commerce because at that point we won't really need to uh, worry about competing with other great powers I'm mostly just going to avoid uh, Western Africa over here except for like maybe the coastline I'm just going to try to expand eastward And since we do have this like territory over here, we don't really need to have a naval base. Paramba. Oh, this one. If we expand it, it should. I think if we expand this one, it should just be close enough. For like this right here, Togo. Alright, so Argentina is almost in our sphere. Increase relations with Chile. Increase relations with you again. Try to make everybody happy. There you go. I like Chile. We're gonna create the Southern Block. Whoa. You're at war with the United States? Oh, you're at war with the USCA and like they called in the United States. No, actually they actually went to war with the United States to take Arizona back while the US is dealing with the Confederates. Actually, this is pretty interesting. Mexico's probably gonna lose this war, but well, I shouldn't say probably. It looks definitely like they're going to lose this war. Alright, 
right? So they're all out of Peru's influence. Oh, we can add Argentina to our sphere now. All right, so Argentina is now within our sphere. What bonus? We're not neighboring sphere members, relations. Okay, looking good, looking good. Get these breach loaded rifles done. Projects, lumber bills, and canned food factories, of course. Let's start getting these up and running. Uh, and then create a state up here. There we go. So we have a little colonial section. Allows the construction of commerce raiders. Can actually go for that too. All right, so let's decommission these guys. All right, so that freed up some naval spending. Now cordial. All right, so. Let's build a couple more steam transports, like four more. And then I guess we can build a, ton, a couple commerce raiders. And then we could decommission the frigates. Also, let's build another Brazilian army. Move you guys off Rio. See, we are been losing money because of all the naval bases. Those are running negative because we're buying up stuff off the market for the rest of these ships. We're gonna be in the red for a little bit, but that is certainly okay. All right, we need like ten more liberals in the upper house to pass reform. Let's see, can I cut this down to 82? Lover exposed. Scandalous. Do that. Maybe if I do that, they'll push reform through, or at least they'll be more willing to. Alright, so it looks like we're losing quite a bit of money. Alright, so seeing that we can't afford all of this just yet. There we go. We were buying up too much of uh, one thing. Let's pay the loan. But, well, we had to cut back on spending. That's going to be fine until we have to reorganize our finances, but it's fine for the time being. We are like, you know, trying to expand our military and stuff. I'm trying to get our score up maybe to 100, see if we could get one of these. Probably, I might go for Merchant Marine. Maybe. Let's see, I'm going to check that off. What, what would we need? Like... Have a military score higher than 100 and at least 30 ships. Okay, we can do that. You're a great one. Some alliance offer now. Sure thing. Increase relations with Chile. All right, let's see how this Mexican war over Arizona is going. All right, it seems the CSA actually... I think Mexico... It's distracting the United States and the CSA actually managed to take over DC and reclaim Richmond. What in the hell? I mean, they captured the majority of this. Like they capture pretty much over half of the CSA right now. All right, crazy to friendly. And they are 
for probably seeing that the USCA is doing the most down here fighting Mexico off Mexico's military oh their military has just been crushed so there's that all right so we can construct the guard now could go for one of these but let's let me actually go for this military plans Uh, this is actually, uh, yeah, let's go with military plans for right now. This is good. And then, like, for that entire year, I'm going to save up points for, uh, or maybe I'll probably go for one of these, like, such as alphabetic uh, flag signaling. Go for one of those and then try to... Like, save up points for like half a year for machine guns. Or should I just go for it? Yeah, I actually might just save up points for that whole year and just go for the machine gun. Like, so we can immediately get that out of the way. Also, I'm gonna lower tariffs a bit. See the price they buy. Alright, I'm gonna keep the tariffs like this for a little bit. Because right now most of our income is coming through from tariffs. I'm trying to keep them down just enough so like it doesn't cause like the price of goods aren't as high so our people can buy them on their own. Uh, right, it seems like the price of wine is actually one of looks like it's pretty high. But also, it's probably helping that we're getting most of our goods and stuff from like our neighbors. <laughs> Let's just keep this going. All right, could we justify a war? 22, or I just go for another five, or we could go for a make puppet. All right, let's see. What do you have that I could possibly want? All of Nigeria or Sukkot, Cameroon? I'm thinking Nigeria. Let's go for that. Try to justify war over Nigeria. They won't really be able to stop me anyway. Try to like build our colonial empire. All right, it seems that these guys are actually, the CSA is in New York right now. They're somewhere around here. Try again, 3.7 infamy, that's fine. Oh, they're recapturing the territory. Actually, I think the CSA might exist. If they manage to recapture some of their stuff, you know what? Because I actually believe in them. I'm gonna kick the terrorists back up. But since I actually believe in the CSA, I'm actually gonna like give them a little bit of funding, just a little bit. All right, Chile is almost firmly within our sphere. All right, so this is going on. Yeah, the Mexican liberation of Cal I mean Arizona is not going too well. And it actually seems that they want to acquire Sonora from Mexico. 
I hope the CSA actually does this because I they got DC under their control. Alright, so Can I actually go for this? Yeah, it'll give us like a few months um, to collect points. I, I'd rather just go for this because it seems I want the extra tax efficiency. We need to uh, keep generating some form of income. All right, so here we go with this. All right, start the new factory. I'm actually gonna raise the taxes on the middle class. We're gonna need this right now. Yeah, we're gonna need the extra tax efficiency because it seems that the prices of goods and shit are starting to get out of our reach. All right, almost able to spear Chile. Ah, losing quite a bit of money. Let's try again. Let's search through the Nile. All right, let's declare war. Nigeria. America, so okay, so it looks like Mexico surrendered. And Chile to our sphere. Yeah, Mexico gave up Sonora. All right, it looks like with that, yeah, eh, the CSA is falling apart. They're having rebel problems now. Go over there and kill them. No, go go through here and just kill these guys. All right, capture Sokoto, and then we're gonna manage this situation. All right, Brazilian Benin. Jeez, uh, let's see. Can we now promote some clerks? Okay, so it looks like some clerks have found their way to Rio de Janeiro. All right, go through here. Try to make this war quick. There's a bunch of money, let's also lower land maintenance. We don't really need that much right now. Lower this spending. Oh, that's probably one of the reasons. Mexico, oh, Colombia did, also didn't join that war with the USCA. If Colombia had joined the war, they probably would have had a chance. Take over this. Alright. So they surrendered. Drop the military spending down. Let's repay this loan. We need the income. All right, so let's also start putting in points on Ecuador. We pretty much have or south under control, except for Paraguay, but Paraguay is a satellite. We have Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Uruguay, uh, and Chile down here. Let's just keep this going. I just had to do like a slight drop. We can raise the terror, like the spinning back up to here 
Just had to do that just to save us some of the cause. All right, so this money bill should be finished. Famine. Uh, and we don't have enough money for it. All right, so. I said I was gonna save some points until January 1st, so let's fast forward all the way to then. Uh, whoa, this British colonial conquest against our reef. What the hell? Uh, so, Britain is going to war with Spain and the Netherlands. Yeah, I don't think the CSA has a military anymore. Either that or I don't know where they're at. They got 14 brigades, but they're like somewhere in the middle of this junk. And they're also having rebel problems. Oh, I think they went to go kill the rebels. Oh, just handle this expedition turn. Sure, Ottomans. All right, so how much points did we collect? 2,500. All right, so once this is done, we're gonna jump on the machine guns. Slow it down, extra slow. All right, we could increase the opinion of Ecuador. All right. And there goes my alarm. All right, so let's begin the research for machine guns. It hopefully it'll be finished by in a few months. But since that's done, we could come back to here, do like analytic philosophy, social science, and then start getting rid of all these other stuff because now we should be able to begin colonization hopefully soon. So I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And with that said, I hope to see you guys again in the next episode of Religion Run Brazil. This is Soul Supreme and good day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.